Good morning to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Kerbal Space Program A game that I've been threatening to play for so damn long I bought it in a steam sale last year Not even last year, the year before No, last year Last year, last summer I bought it and I really wanted to play it and get it up on the channel And then stuff after stuff came up and I just kept putting it off and off and off because it's the type of game where you have to sit down and you have to learn how everything works before you actually go and play it And I didn't have the time to sit down and do it I still don't have the time to sit down and do it and do it justice and do it properly So I'm probably not gonna get a lot done in this video I'm probably just gonna spend a lot of my time into tutorial trying to figure out how to actually play the damn game But I wanted to just record it anyway and get it up on the channel finally Just to have it there and kind of gauge how it's gonna turn out and how people react to it so I'm gonna get in and start a tutorial maybe and see what happens I do have saved games but they're nothing I got in for like five seconds to see what the game looked like and ran like and then I quit so I don't really have a save game so I'm gonna go into training uh, to the moon Jesus no construction basics here we go Welcome! Today's lecture on vessel construction, I'm Werner von Kerman. Whether you want to put a satellite into orbit, fly a transcontinental flight, or step onto the very surface of the moon, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. It should be pretty easy, even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. First part required in any vessel construction is command module. This part- oh, music's cool. Ooh, I like it, and the curls are so cute! Look at them! The big fat heads though, which is weird. I can't move the camera, okay. This part will either contain a plucky Kerbal crew or an automated pilot mechanism. Select a command module from the parts list. Where's the parts list? What? Oh, now I can move the camera. Yeah! Fucking construction! Yeah! <laughs> oh, cool. Alrighty-roo. I figure out. See, we needed some fuel to burn. Can I move you? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, fuel tank. What size are you guys? Yeah, you seem good. Ooh, look at my spaceships coming together! Not too bad, you might just be getting the hang of this. So, command module and fuel. Is this real? Like, how in-depth does this get? I've heard that it can be pretty detailed in what it does. Uh, LVT30 or LVT45? I'm gonna T45, it looks cooler. No, this one looks bigger. Okay, let's go with this. Shh, Looking good! You remind me of a younger, less experienced, considerably less famous version of myself. Some parts are designed to be attached to the surfaces of others. These allow you to build intricate radial structures and attach ever more rockets. Okay. Put you here? Yeah? And put you over here. Those seem almost identical. Ah, God damn it. Identical? No! I need them perfectly symmetrical! Oh wait, there was a symmetry thing, wasn't there? Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, how do I delete shit? There I go. And now I can go like this. Ah! Cool! Awesome! That's really intuitive. And perfect! Yay! Uh, more? That doesn't really seem right. No, I can't do that. On th these sides? Doesn't seem right either. Okay, I'm hardly gonna attach that many rockets. <sighs> Interesting looking ship. Let's hope it goes better than it looks. Last but not least, make sure you assign a name to your vessel by selecting the name in the box and save it. Oh, so can I attach more rockets now? Oh, good god! <laughs> this thing is gonna explode! Like, instantly! <laughs> that looks so stupid! I'm gonna be a Jack Spe Jack Spectacai spaceship if it wasn't ugly, right? Am I right? I'm right. Shut up. <laughs> it looks like a freaking starfish. Okay, untitled spacecraft. You are going to be called the Awesometron. No, you're going to be called the Bossom Rocket Ship. Yeah. Now what? Now it looks a bit better, doesn't it? I don't know. Uh. Ah, shit! No, no, no load, no load. Save. Save. Now, LAUNCH! Oh, wait, no, I don't know how to launch. Welcome to the Kerbal Space Center launch facility! I'm Gene Kerman, and I will teach you the basics of piloting a spacecraft. If you haven't yet done the vehicle assembly tutorial, I recommend- Okay, shut up! 
Oh, the, the controls are actually pretty intuitive. And the little things move. They move, look. Woo, woo, woo. That's cool. And they have a shadow. That's amazing. That's high detail. Now, let's look at another basic flight control. The throttle controls the effects of the output, blah, blah, blah. Note that the throttle will only affect engines that can be throttled, like liquid engines. Solid boosters don't have any throttle control and will burn at top capacity under their fuel until their fuel runs out. So, like, the stuff I have at the side of my ship, I can't, like, throttle them, but I can throttle the main one at the bottom, I think. SAS stands for Stability Augmentation System. I'm sorry if this is super boring to watch. I, this is kind of one of the reasons why I went against recording this game for so long because a lot of it is me just learning how the game works because I haven't a clue. Although the Kerbal Astronauts usually refer to it as Sickness Avoidance Scheme. Haha, <laughs> clever little Kerbals. SES can be activated momentarily by holding down the F key or toggled by pressing the T. RCS stands for Reaction Control System. It consists of small thrusters that help control the ship's orientation and translation. The RCS can be activated by pressing the R key. Give it a try. Okay, I just want to fly! Uh -huh. Okay, it's time to fly! Set throttle to max! Shoo and... Okay. Shpadoosh! Yeah! Woohoohoo! We are flying, people! Where's my fuel? I guess it ran out. Oh, here. Liquid fuel. Okay. Ah, I separated! And I'm gonna connect again. That's not supposed to happen! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Shit. Am I going back down yet? Yes, I am. Very fucking fast. Oh, no. Okay, SAS. Oh, SAS is awesome! It, like, keeps you in a fixed position. See you later! Okay, now I have to put out parachutes. Is it space again to put out parachutes? I have no idea! I hope I don't kill all my little kerbals. Are we close to the ground? Parachute! Is that gonna explode? <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's just debris. Oh my god! <laughs> the explosions are so much louder and more chaotic than I ever thought they were going to be. That's pretty cool. I guess I just wait. Oh, I was way further up than I thought I was. I guess I should have looked at this. Oh, we're coming down. We're getting close. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. What? I stopped at six. Ah, oh, because I'm 64 meters above sea level? I have no idea. Recover vessel. What? What did I just do? The hell am I launching now? Nothing, apparently, because nothing happened. You just stood there. Are those batteries on the side of that? They're Batman batteries. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is. I want to use my ship now. Oh man, my rocket is gone. I only built it for the freaking tutorial. Now I have to build it again. God damn it, I'm going to build the exact same thing again because I was comfortable with that. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck did I use? Fuel tank. And then I put, like, a little bit of something else on the bottom. Like one of these. Spadoosh. And uh, then I need rails. Symmetry mode. It's confusing when everything's unlocked at the start because I'm getting kind of confused about what everything is. And there's so many of them. Like, are some of them the same? I'd imagine a lot of them is the same. Oh, and you need, like, decouplers and everything to split your spaceship apart. What are you? You look like you should send stuff back in time. Oh, these are decouplers as well, are they? Yeah. So, these fuel tanks can come off, apparently. At least I hope so. And then I put things on top of these things. Haha! <laughs> I gave it four big nipples! I'm gonna call this the nipple ship. Ah, uh, what else did I put on? Oh, I can put on better ones. How do I rotate them? They're upside down. I don't want them to be upside down. How do- how do I, like, put them other way? Yeah, those are better. Cool! This is gonna keep me all stabilized. Awesome! Now, name. You are... Nipple ship! The best ship there ever was. Okay, so let's go to launch! Let's launch this bad boy. I have no parachutes or anything in it. Crap! Haha! <laughs> okay, throttle to max. Please don't explode. 
Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Christ! My little Kerbal's freaking out! How, how do I know this stuff is overheating? Where's the, where's the meter for that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm turning. I'm turning when I'm not supposed to. Put on SAS just so I keep going straight. Awesome! That is so cool! Love this game. This game is awesome. I was always fascinated by space when I was a child. Like, when I, when I was young, my dream was to actually be an astronaut. Or not an astronaut, an astronomer. And I really love space and the stars and everything, and it was so cool. And then I got older and I realized you need a lot of maths for that stuff. And me no do maths well in head. I am awful at maths. And I have to do it like in college now for accounting. That sucks. And I'm almost in space. I want to spin around in this thing. Woohoohoo! Look. Corkscrew. I love how like the fins of it spin and everything. Oh god I'm coming back down. Oh jeepers. What is that? What's that over there? Uh oh. Can I, like, decouple again? Oh, I have more rockets! Ah, damn it! Okay, let's do that again. We are gonna send my nipple ship so far into space right now. Cause I- I forgot I had another engine! Well, I didn't forget, I actually didn't know. Shmanoosh! That's what you'd be like in a rocket ship, isn't it? You just go... Then you start seeing weird shit and your face all goes... So pretty, right? And then... Decouple those bitches and go again! Yeah! We were getting so much higher this time. Uh, what did I get the last time? 17,000? And it started to fall back down. Look at this! I am going to enter space at this stage. Even though I have no idea how far space is in the atmosphere. That's what happens when you don't know anything about this stuff. Look at my little tiny spaceship! Good god, that really makes you feel small, doesn't it? Oh, my fuel ran out. Now what? Oh my god, I got like a really big sense of like, I was falling or something. So whatever way I looked at that. That is so cool. Am I in space? I think I am. I have to be, right? I think that music means I'm in space! Orbit! I feel good about myself now! <laughs> I am an astronaut! The best there ever was! This is for you, Billy! <laughs> I go, go out and tell my mom I don't need to go to college anymore. I'm a fully fledged astronaut. I don't know what to do from here though. Is that a Death Star? <laughs> it probably should be the moon, but it has like a big circle on the side like the Death Star. I'm gonna take off SAS. I'm gonna see if I can enter Earth's orbit, even though I have no idea how. And can I like zoom way out? Oh, uh, I can't use- Oh, I can't use SAS anyway! Because I don't have an SAS module installed on my ship. Or does the command module always come at one? I don't think so. I wouldn't- I wouldn't imagine so. I'm still rising. I don't really know what to do now! Orbit map! Ah! Jesus, I'm way in space! How do I, like, fast forward time? Oh, uh, now I can fast forward time! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit, I'm falling back down to Earth! Uh oh! Uh oh, Skedios! Oh, does that mean I'm not in orbit anymore? Am I gonna die? I probably think so. Does my thing look like a fish? It does, it looks so much like a fish! This is the coolest fucking spaceship ever! Why don't normal spaceships look like that? I don't care if they're not properly aerodynamic. They don't meet NASA's crazy standards. This is an awesome ship. NASA should know awesomeness when they see it. Oh god, I'm entering the atmosphere. That is awesome! I didn't even know that happened in this game. Oh god, that's where the station is. Uh, I might be taking a little detour for today. I can't even- oh, I have no more stages. Oh <laughs> shit. I can't- I have no parachutes. I have nothing. Oh, no parachutes. I can't even, like, separate my command module from the rest of my ship. 
Dudes, we are going to die in a fall, fiery ball of death. I have no idea how this is happening. I have no idea how my ship is flying forward. I want to fall faster. Oh god, my cur- my curvel is going ballistic. He's thinking, what are you doing? Stop killing me! Is it my wings that are keeping me afloat? It is! My SAS module is actually correcting me. Okay, I'm still at like four times. Warp. Warp speed! Mr. Sulu! Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not even doing anything. The ship is doing that all in itself, trying to stabilize itself. Jebediah, no! Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this video here. That was a good first video introduction to Kerbal Space Program, where I launched a badass ship, and I crashed a badass ship. I guess I'm not cut out for space after all. There is a lot to this game. Like, I think you can actually get up and go to the moon, and maybe space stations. And that must be a lot of, like, research and studying how the ships work, and creating better ships. And maybe I'll come back to it and do more of it, but for now, this will probably be it for a while. I probably should come back to it though, because I know what I'm doing. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And high fives all around. Whoopsh, whoopsh. But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes! In the next video! Did I just lose a wheel? I didn't do anything! God. Different car means a bigger plan of attack! This car seems to be a bit easier to control. Let's go up the giant ramp! Oh, look at this. Beautiful slow motion. Is there anything nicer than slow motion? I don't think so.